Geneva, New York is host to this year's Division Three Field Hockey Championship. One of the teams who made it upstate, Bowdoin College of Maine. The Polar Bears, making their second consecutive Final Four appearance, were led last year by an All-American, Taryn King. This year won't be the same. Taryn um, is the kind of person where if you've met her once, then you, you can't really forget her. I was immediately impressed by her enthusiastic, extroverted personality. She was just one of those kids that you knew was really all put together. She was incredibly talented and she made the people around her better. In practices, she would work as hard as she possibly could and it was very clear to everyone that she was always kind of a step above everyone else. She was a great leader and I think she brought the whole level of the team up. After last year's tournament, King headed overseas to spend the spring semester in Ireland. She wouldn't be back. I'm just sitting in my office, the phone rings, it's the dean of students from Bowdoin, and he just called me and said, you know, I have some bad news, Taryn King died in Ireland. Taryn had contracted an overwhelming bacterial infection. At just 21 years old, she was lost to an infection you've probably never even heard of. My initial reaction was just, I just didn't believe it. I thought, this can't be true, there's no way, and it was definitely one of the hardest things that I've ever been through. Telling the rest of the team was the hardest thing I've ever done as a coach, and I hope I never have to do it again. There was a point in which the thought of picking up my feel lucky stick to play again made me physically ill, but it really was my teammates and the way that we were able to to keep each other up and to keep moving forward, even though it's extremely difficult to do. Being with those players was really when I was able to break down. And um, I think we all needed each other for that. The support in the team for one another when you go through such adversity uh, was wonderful. Um, uh, the strength of this team is unbelievable. For Taryn's teammates, moving forward started with honoring the past. Well, we put TK on our shirts just so that she was with us, you know, every game. It's a great thing that we have her initials on the sleeve just because it's a physical way for everyone to know that she is really with us and she never will be forgotten. They say it's time that heals, but no one knows when a heavy heart will begin to mend. I wasn't sure how the season, you know, would turn out. I didn't know if how the team would do, if, if players would continue to play or if it was too hard for them. We really didn't put down any goals as far as wins and losses because our priority was to, to get through the season having lost a player. To lose your best player and in such a tragic way, you know, you think it's impossible to come back from, but that's just not the way that we are and that's just not the way that she was. What she would have been is proud as the Bears rose to the occasion this season with an NCAA best 13 game winning streak. I don't think any team could make it back here. Um, I think it took a lot of work beyond physical. Um, it took emotional sacrifices and, and mental strength and, and everyone needed to have it in order for it to, to work. This is my 11th year and by far this is the greatest achievement ever by a team, so um, I'm incredibly proud of them. For Bowdoin, that achievement is so much more than reaching the semifinals here in New York, but they're here to play as they've been all season. Going up against Messiah College, a tight game remains scoreless until early in the second half when Lindsey Hunter takes the Falcons to a 1-0 lead. The score holds, and Messiah hands Bowdoin its first loss in 14 games. But the loss is not what will linger for this team. <laughs> she'd be proud of them, you know. She, uh, right now, she'd be so disappointed that, you know, we lost. Um, but she'd be proud of them. Why we lost today has, doesn't have to do with the fact that she's not here. You know, we played with her today, too. And she would know that. And um, know that we really did put it out on the field as well. In the championship, it's Ursinus College against Messiah, who lost in the finals last year. 
Messiah gets on the board first with a score by sophomore Tiffany Leatherman. But just 90 seconds later, Lindsey Kappa returns the favor, tying it up 1-1. Kappa doubles up minutes later, edging the Bears ahead, giving their fans something to cheer about. But the Falcons respond. A semifinal hero, Lindsey Hunter, scores to tie it at 2-all. In a relentless second half, Molly Stevens scores a pivotal goal for Ursinus, giving them a 3-2 lead. It's a goal that would define the title as the Ursinus Bears claim their first national championship in program history. A tough loss to swallow for Messiah, two years running, a heartbreaker in the final. But Ursinus has claimed it.